you see this is uh, when grace under pressure um, comes in handy and I can say uh, as a whitehead hacker especially one involved in a lot of red teaming which basically means surprise you're being hacked um, you know I've uh, been in a lot of stressful situations I would say a lot more than this um, some that have been involved hiding under desk when someone came back to their office anyway uh, Alex did say I have lots of stories so let's get started with one of them um, I did tweak this a little bit Alex it started out as why I hacked um, the Bangkok mass transit system and it ended up, ended up being why I was able to hack the Bangkok mass transit system so that's what we're going to talk about today you know why people are able to do this why people like me are able to do this and why you might in fact be next as Alex said I am um, head of cybersecurity operations with Hellfire Security some basic information there obviously obligatory there and we did talk about my background just a little bit. Um, basically, I had IT in my blood, if such a thing were possible. It was just in the family there, if you will. And, you know, you start out building things, but unlike other people, I was also interested in in taking them apart. And it's just, it's the essential part of hacking, right? Reverse engineering. It's because to better understand something, right? especially something that is handed to you, like a computer, um, and especially computers running software running on it. To understand it, to really understand how it works and what it can do, you, you take it apart. I mean, people do this all the time with cars. I just did this with technology, other types of technology. Right? Um, and this evolved into, it's a euphemism, right? Research, but we can all admit to it. I can admit to it. I do it all the time. It's essentially hacking, right? That's just a nice, friendly way of saying hacking research. But it is, in fact, hacking um, so you start taking things apart you learn about these things you're able to exploit them in some fashion and you go out into the world and you want to share with, with people and you say to yourself it's new because it's new to me it's new to me is it is it new to you do you know about it and you don't know about it and so well we'd like to hear about it and um, you have the opportunity to to post especially with the arrival of the internet and, and uh, these sorts of things and you ask people in fact with large organizations that have conferences specifically for sharing this kind of information um, hacker conferences uh, would you like to hear about it then they say sure so here we are many years later uh, 17 international conferences between then and now and innumerable other talks like this where I get to present my research I'll present the things I've hacked right so things that I have hacked several large multinational banks a casino in Cambodia, telecommunications company in Thailand. That was the most recent one. Uh, in fact, it's the largest telecommunications company in Thailand. A digital asset exchange in Thailand. Oh, good number of automated teller machines or ATMs in airline base in the United States. The EC Council website. The list is much longer than this, but this is gives you, this is just a short list. It gives you a good idea of the things that I have uh, hacked. EC Council website, if you're involved in information security at all, you know a little bit about the EC Council website. They are responsible for making sure people are certified. They basically know, you know how to be secure. They know how to help people be secure. And they themselves were caught uh, by me. So pretty good. And then, of course, uh, the Bangkok Mass Transit System. Now, most of these, you well, all but maybe one or two, you won't see anywhere on the internet. These are things that I find and I share with them and then they quietly fix it uh, before only something bad can happen. Right. So this one was shared a couple of years ago. I gave a talk uh, at DEF CON, actually DEF CON China as well as DEF CON United States and that happens to be the oldest, um, largest and oldest hacker conference in the world. With it being public, I can then share it with you as well. There's a longer talk on it if you're interested in the gory details, a much more technical talk uh, than what I will show you today. Okay. This is their ticket system there. Now, what I'm about to show you was learned by many, many days, weeks, hours, and uh, actually years of, um, of research. 
and I, and it took that long because <laughs> this is where uh, you get to learn a little bit more about me. Uh, it was done uh, during a coup, during a military coup. A, the military in, in Thailand had overthrown the government, and they were currently in charge, and they were men with guns. So obviously, my curiosity I needed to be stated, but I needed to be stated very carefully. And so it took about two years of collecting data. And but what I mean by collecting data is you do experiments, right? You have a, you have a ticket, a physical ticket. Data gets written out of that ticket. You have a system, some sort of uh, Set of computers and a network and that sort of thing that communicate with this with this and in the back that communicate the systems in the front and the and ticket goes in and they communicate with the back end system and the system makes some sort of valuation and passes some information back to the front end system. There's an assessment going on um, to make sure that the ticket's valid and that you're using it properly and that sort of thing. Uh, and you learn the rules by essentially passing the ticket through that system, right? And you stop it at every stage and you see what's changed and since data is being written to that ticket you can put it through the turnstile you can take it out of the turnstile and then don't actually go in but you just take a look at it and what's changed on it and so you essentially see what the system does do you use this ticket differently to see how that changes right how it changes what's being written to the ticket what's different about that ticket you go ahead and you try different things with the ticket and you see how the system responds to it and by doing that you kind of learn the rules Right. And so these are the rules that I figured out uh, over the course of those two years. Now, again, it was very slow because of the fact that it was the research. <laughs> uh, I'll go back and forth between those two words. Uh, obviously, research is a much kinder, gentler sounding word um, and more palatable. Right. Over the two years, there were not just the fact that there there was a, a, a junta uh, in charge of the country, but also we had lots of hardware issues that I had to deal with, but reading the ticket and, and um, being able to examine it uh, for the purpose of learning about what the ticket was, what was being done to the ticket by the system. Um, you know, basically I, I had to get my results, right? And there's some hardware issues there. So after two years uh, of all of this experimentation, what I learned was going on was essentially the front end was checking to see if the ticket was valid. Right? You'd read that ticket, make sure all the data was in order. Right? So it laid out properly, the values were correct, and then back end system would be checking it right? to make sure that it was going through the system. It was always basically moving forward. You're using it properly. Okay. Now, how I was able to do this is because there was a digital twin on the back side, basically in a database somewhere that was the twin of that physical ticket. And anytime you use the ticket, it would update the state of that digital twin. And so it was basically making sure that it was moving from being dispensed to being entered to being collected. Right? So these are the rules. One, it's got to be a valid ticket. And that's a check being done on the front end. But, and then the back end, keeping track of that ticket's life cycle and with the digital twin, would be making sure it was moving forward. 